All right, uh, Jim. Oh, you didn't have any questions, so we'll skip Jim. I've got one now. Oh, go go for it, <laughs> uh, Daniel. I want to thank you for uh, for your Exxon question. That uh, reminded me too that that's man that has been on my mind this week uh, because. I've been watching this, this proxy war that's been going on and it's got me thinking this past week, you know, especially with the announcement that looks like the, the, the environmentalists have, have gotten some wins with an Exxon. It, it's occurring to me that a combination of the sort of corporate activism that's been going on, plus the Biden administration's actions, I, I, I'm starting to think, uh, and I, I like your opinion, you're on that we're going to go back to relying more on OPEC nations for their oil. I mean, maybe it's hard to tell. Fracking is still happening. Um, you know, they, they haven't stopped fracking yet. If they do that, then then yes, I think that's right. Um, no, I mean, I, I, I worry that, that yeah, oil prices will go up. Uh, that are, but more importantly, in a sense, car prices will go up. It, it's going to become more and more difficult to find a good car or combustion. And then when you get electric cars and they're going to force us to go into electric cars, I think in California, just within a few years, um, where are they going to get that electricity? California can't can handle the load right now in the summer with air conditioning. Now add to that cars that are suddenly being charged. Where's that electricity going to come from? Where are they going to produce it? How are they going to, how, the grid is cannot sustain it. Now it's true. Biden wants a two trillion dollar so-called infrastructure bill to build the grid, but you still have to produce the electricity, and it's not coming from. So, as we go into the next couple of decades, expect more blackouts, expect much higher electricity prices, um, expect much higher automobile prices, and with everything that's involved with that, right? I mean, um, you need to use the gremlins under your desk as a power source. Well, I mean, the good thing is that, uh, you know, Tesla is selling you batteries you can have at home so you can charge them off the grid and keep the battery for when the power goes out and use the Tesla battery. But note that that is a cost of electricity, which won't be calculated according to your monthly bill, but it's a, to, to put a, a Tesla battery in your home, which I would do, um, is is a cost of electricity. I, I've heard that, uh, I don't know if this is actually the case yet with electric cars, but it, uh, I know it's been proposed that they keep uh, something like a 10 or 20% reserve on the batteries that when they're plugged in at home, that the power company can actually tap off of your car battery as a backup source of energy for the grid. <laughs> I'm not surprised. I mean, I looked... You know, I looked at some point in Southern California about getting um, uh, getting uh, solar panels. And, they, you know, they come and they give you this pitch and you get tax credits and all this stuff. And um, I said, OK, you know, I'm kind of, a, you know, I wouldn't mind. I, I think this would be a good idea if I could run the house off of the solar panels. And he was like, no, that's not allowed. You can't do that. I said, what do you mean? They're on my roof. No. Nope. The only way you can connect the solar panels is to the grid. You sell the electricity to the electric company and they sell it back to you. And yeah, he said, your electric bill will go to zero, but you cannot have a switch that connects your solar panels to your home. I said, the only reason I want this is if there's like the, the 8.0 earthquake in California and the power goes out, I want to be able to run my house on the solar panels. Can't do that. Not allowed to do that. So. Amazing. So yes, all the electricity is is you know shared. It's all going to go back onto the grid and 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 be circulating. And they, and that technology exists because of the solar panels. Because they're buying from homeowners, they could they could yeah they could leech off of your car if they wanted to. Thanks to politicians for working us towards the dumbest possible grid. Yes, but it's a smart grid. It's called a smart grid. What we need today, what I call the new intellectual, would be any man or woman who is willing to think. Meaning, any man or woman who knows that man's life must be guided by reason, by the intellect, not by feelings, wishes, whims, or mystic revelations. 
any man or woman who values his life and who does not give, want to give in to today's cult of despair, cynicism, and impotence, and does not intend to give up the world to the dark ages and to the rule of the collectivist brute. All right, before we go on, reminder, please like the show. We, we've got 163 live listeners right now, uh, 30 likes. That should be at least 100. I figure at least 100 of you actually like the show. Maybe there are like 60 of the Matthews out there who hate it. But, but at least the people who are liking it, you know, I want to see, I want to see a thumbs up. There you go. Start liking it. I want to see that go to 100. All it takes is a click of a, a click of a, a thing, whether you're looking at this. Uh, and, and, you know, the likes matter. It, it's not an issue of my ego. It's an issue of the algorithm. The more you like something, the more the algorithm likes it. So, you know, and if you don't like the show, give it a thumbs down. Let's see your actual views being reflected in the likes. But uh, if you like it, don't just sit there, help get the show promoted. Of course, you should also share and uh, you can support the show at youronbrookshow.com slash support or on Patreon or Subscribestar or Locals uh, and, uh, and show your support for, all, for, for, for the work, for the value hopefully you're receiving from this. And, uh, and of course, don't forget, if you're not a subscriber, even if, you, even if you just come here to troll or even if you're here like Matthew to defend Marx, uh, then uh, you should subscribe because that way you'll know when to show up. You'll know what shows are on, when they're on. You'll get notified, right? So, um, yes, like, share, subscribe, support. Like, share, subscribe, support. There you go. Easy. Do one or all of those, please.